when we get to bring our children to the Lord. And we believe that the Bible instructs us not to baptize infants, but to bring them to the Lord and dedicate them. And when we do that, we're really dedicating ourselves and our, ourselves as a family and ourselves as a church. Amen. To raise our children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. And I believe that God commissions us to do that. And it's the most important part of discipleship as a church is discipling our children. So let me see. Is Nathaniel going to let me hold him? I'm sorry, Nehemiah. Did I say Nathaniel? I'm so sorry. I did Nehemiah. He, he just, he just. <laughs> Who's he going to let me hold him? He is. He is gorgeous. I'm so sorry. Look at this guy. Isn't he something else? Wow. Such a beautiful, beautiful baby. And every time, you know, every time that we bring a, a baby, every time that, that a new life comes into the world, I believe it reminds us of the new grace of God, the new calling, the new generation. And for every generation and every calling and every place, God has a specific design purpose. Amen? Amen. Would you just stretch your hands up here with me together? Lord, I just thank you, God, for this treasure. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for Nehemiah Rogers, God, and I thank you for his life. Lord, I thank you, God, that even in the Word where Nehemiah was a builder, Lord, even in the Word where he was a, a revolutionary God, where he established and, and, and was willing to do something nobody else was willing to do, Lord, I thank you that your hand is on this young vessel. Lord, that he is going to be called and raised to do things that no one else will do. Lord, that you're giving him a divine boldness. I see a divine boldness over his life. And Lord, as we bring him to the house of God to dedicate him, Lord, we dedicate ourselves to you to surround him, God, with the fear and admonition of the Lord. And Lord, to stand together, Lord, with Trey, with Amity, with this family, Lord God. Lord, that, that, that we would see every day, every step. Lord God, I thank you in the name of Jesus for what you are doing over this baby's life. And Lord, I thank you right now by your power and grace, Lord, that you're going to cover him, guide his steps, protect him, and lead him, God. Lord, that he will find you at his early age, and God, that you're going to make his heart and his mind sensitive to the things of God. And Lord, that there's going to be a unique courage that he's going to carry. Lord, that he's going to be fearless toward the things of the enemy, God, and he's going to be bold, God. He's going to be so strong and bold in you. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in him and through him today. And we give you praise for his life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Trey is the spiritual head of your house. I'm going to hand it back to you. And I'm going to have your mom. It's good to, to come and pray. I believe there's a special blessing that God's going to bring. Such an honor to be in the house today. And such an honor to pray for, I think, the last one between the two of you. Yes. 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 I think their quiver is full. Yes. <laughs> but I'm privileged to be here. and Overflowing. It's overflowing. Amen. This cup runneth over. Amen. Father, first of all, thank you for how good you are. Thank you, God, that the fruit of their womb is blessed, God. Thank you, God, that your hand is upon this family. And I thank you, God, for their union. And I thank you, God, for a restoration and the healing that you've done. And I thank you, God, that you promised us if we train a child in the way they should go when they are old, they will not depart from it. So, God, I thank you that Arthur and Amity raised their children in the way that they should go. Yes. God, I thank you for strengthening them. I thank you for peace in their household and provision. 
God, I thank you that the enemy has no place, not, not, not just in their marriage, but not in their children. God, I thank you that the spirit of rebellion will never give place, not, not, not just in Nehemiah, but nor in Ezekiel, yes. nor in, oh God, nor in Trinity, nor in Annika, nor in Hayden, nor in Bella in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that you are the, the center of their household and the center of their hearts. And God, as I pray for Nehemiah today, God, I thank you for ordering his every step. God, I thank you, God, as his name in Yahweh comforts or God comforts, I thank you, God, that he will not only be a leader, God, as Nehemiah was a leader in the, in the rebuilding of Jerusalem, God, but he will not only be a leader, God, but he'll be one who comforts. God, I thank you that, God, his heart, God, will always be with you. God, he'll be like David, a man after God's own heart, God. I thank you, God, that he will hear your voice, God, and a stranger he will never follow, God. From his youth, God, you will, we know that he's anointed, God, that he's called, and he's already a man of purpose. So, God, I thank you for strengthening him. Him. I thank you, God, that yes, all that you're doing in him, God, we have no idea. For eyes have not seen nor ears have heard the incredible things that you have in store for Nehemiah Rogers. God, I thank you for him. And I thank you for this community of believers because it takes more than parents to raise a child. So God, I thank you for every uh, adopted aunt and adopted uncle and adopted grandpa parent and adopted sibling, God, that you brought into each of these members' how, uh, hearts, God. And I just ask God that you would continue to keep your hand upon my family and bless them indeed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. While she was praying, I really, I just saw like a, almost like a, like a vision of this rocky and rough terrain that, that you guys have walked down and through and, and more than even the things that I know. But I believe that God, I just saw him bringing you up to like, have you seen in, in like mountainous areas where they have large plateaus, large plateaus. And I just see you coming up to that level. And God's like, I put, repositioned you. And with his birth, it's a repositioning. And it's a new day. And the hand of God is going to give you insight and oversight in things. And I really believe that with all my heart over your lives, over your family. And I think he's really a sign from God for the, those things. I really believe that. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Love you so much. Hallelujah.